After what was by some measures the worst start to a new year in market history, stocks have staged a bit of a comeback for now. In this morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360, U.S. Bank Vice President and Senior Portfolio Manager Mike Deniman joins business career publisher Jamie Smith to talk about where the market stands as we close out the first quarter and what that might mean for the rest of the year. Jamie and Mike. Thanks, Peg. Mike, thanks for being here today. Good morning. All right, let's, let's get a recap. What sure. was, uh, it was a tough quarter. Uh, it, it was. Um, as, as Peg said, it kind of started off on a bad note, uh, and it, it kept going down from there. Uh, January was a disaster. February didn't start off much better. But then about mid-February, the market sort of bottomed out and began a slow recovery. And now, here six weeks later, at the end of the quarter, we're essentially back to even for the year, maybe even a slight gain. So uh, at, at its worst point this year, the market was down about 10%. So to get back to even for the quarter, that's quite a nice recovery. Yeah. Uh, but still, on, on the whole, a quarter that's even is, is not really a success. And uh, it, you know, it, it could have been a whole lot worse, though. Well, it seems to be a fairly quick turnaround with bad January, not so good February. Well, what, what changed it? Right. So uh, it, you know, this isn't a very scientific answer, but uh, really it's more perception of the market than anything else. So if you think back to January and all the things that were going on then, there were worries about the Chinese economy, about our own economy, about what's going on in Europe, about the price of oil. So you, you, know, you throw all these things together at one time and you end up with a pretty nervous market. So fast forward now a couple of months and think about really how many of those issues have been resolved. And the answer is not too many yeah. of them. So they're still hanging out there, but the, the market perception of them is a little bit different. The Chinese economy is still slowing down, but maybe not as fast as we thought. The price of oil is still low, but it's not in a free fall. So I think perhaps in January when they were all at the forefront, maybe a little bit of an overreaction, once the market realizes the world isn't ending, we get that, that nice recovery. Okay. Well, I'm having a deja vu. I feel like I've asked you this question before, <laughs> probably last quarter or last year. But pull out your crystal ball. Right. Tell me what's gonna, what this means for the rest of 2016. Sure. So, um, you know, it certainly feels as if the market is kind of breathing a sigh of relief right now. You know, hey, things didn't go, you know, spiral downward. But that said, as I mentioned a minute ago, there's still a lot of issues out there that need to be resolved before we can be really comfortable with where the market is heading. They're all very legitimate concerns, and I think if any one of them were to flare up again, it could present some difficulties for the market. So um, I think it pays to be a little bit cautious here, to stay on guard. Um, that said, there is a discernible pattern that we've seen over the very long term for presidential election years. They tend to start very slowly and then wrap up with a, a strong finish. So we certainly have the slow start taken care of. It'll just be interesting to see. So we'll see if the trend how, continues. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for bringing your crystal ball. We'll hold you to it. We'll, we'll, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't very cloudy today. <laughs> thanks again for being here. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Jim.